क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स कंसिडर अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू दावर टू एक्स माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई नाइन टू दावर एक्स प्लस थ्री फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू रेशनल नंबर देन द वैल्यू ऑफ गिवन फंक्शन इज सो यू कैन सी द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ वन अपर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन प्लस एफ ऑफ टू डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो ऑन अप टू एफ ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो देर इज अ सिमिलरिटी लाइक वन अपॉन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन प्लस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू वन सो सिमिलरली लास्ट सेकेंड टर्म एफ ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एंड सेकेंड टर्म एफ ऑफ टू डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो योर फंक्शन इज गिवन एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू दावर टू एक्स माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई नाइन एक्स प्लस थ्री सो नाउ calculate 1 minus x because you can see this is written 1 minus 1 upon 2017 so just calculate f of 1 minus x so you, you will see 3 to the power 2 1 minus x minus 1 divide by 9 to the power 1 minus x plus 3 so you are getting 3 to the power 2 minus 2x minus 1 divide by 9 into 9 to the power minus x plus 3 Again, you are getting three to the power one minus two x divided by nine divided by nine to the power x plus three. Just take LCM. So you are getting nine to the power x three to the power one minus two x divided by nine plus three into nine to the power x. So you are getting three to the power two x minus two x plus one divided by three nine x plus three. You can see you are getting one upon Three plus nine to the power x. So now add f of x plus f of one minus x. So see three to the power two x minus one divided by nine to the power x plus three plus one upon nine to the power x plus three. So you can see you are getting three to the power two x minus one plus one divided by nine to the power x plus three. You can write nine to the power x. Three to the power minus one plus three divided by nine x plus three. So you will get it's equal to one by three. So you can see f of x plus f of one minus x that is equal to one upon three. So here we have two thousand one sixteen divided by two combination of f of x plus f of one minus x that is one by three. So value of this you are getting two thousand sixteen divided by six that is equal to three thirty six. So option number four is your correct answer. Now move on next question question number 67 Consider two sets A that is equal to 1 2 3 4 and set B 2 3 4 let a relation R is defined from A to B such that R equal to xy x belongs to A y belongs to B x upon y is a prime number then domain of R so function is defined such that x upon y is a prime number and x belongs to set A and y belongs to set B so you can see easily when x is 1 and if you take any value of from set b there is no prime number so this cannot be part of domain when you take x equal to 2 and when you take any element from set b 2 3 4 so x upon y will not be a prime number so this is also not a part of your domain now when you take x equal to 3 so see again x divided by y y is element from b so you will not get any prime number now again when you take x equal to 4 from set a when you take elements from set b 2 3 4 so for x y equal to 2 you will get x upon y that is equal to 2 2 is a prime number so there is only one element in your domain that is equal to 4 so option number 2 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 68 The number of solution of the equation mod of x plus two plus root four minus x square that is equal to zero. So again, we have to draw the graph of root four minus x square is equal to minus mod of x plus two. You can see this is a part of your circle, which is always positive. So root of four minus x square is something like this. 
this value is 2 comma 0 and this value is minus 2 comma 0. Graph of minus mod x plus 2, it is always negative. When x equal to minus 2, it is 0. So you can see graph of similar like this. So there is only one solution when x equal to minus 2. So number of solution of this equation is only 1. So option number 3 is your correct option. Now move on next question, question number 69. Question number 69. The exhaustive set of values of x satisfying x square minus 2x minus 1, x square minus 2x minus 2 less than 2 is. So just assume x square minus 2x is equal to t. So now your new inequality is t minus 1, t minus 2 is less than 2. Now calculate t square minus 3t plus 2 less than 2. So you are getting t square minus 3t is less than 0. So t lies between 0 to 3. So now replace t as x square minus 2x which lie between 0 to 3. So now calculate first part when x square minus 2x is positive. So x, x minus 2 is always positive. So x belongs to minus infinite to 0 union 2 to infinite. Now second x square minus 2x minus 3 should be less than 0. This is x minus 3. x plus 1 is less than 0. So x lies minus 1 to 3. Now by using number line, just check. This is your minus 1. This is your 0, 2 and 3. According to second, x lies between minus 1 to 3. And according to first inequality, x lies from minus infinite to 0 and 2 to infinite. So common solution is minus 1 to 0 union 2 to 3. Now check on your option. Option number 1 minus infinite to minus 1 which is incorrect. Minus 1 to 0, 2 to 3 which is correct. Now check on another option minus infinite to 0 which is also incorrect. And the last minus 1 to 0 union 3 to infinite which is also incorrect. So option number 2 is your correct option. Now move on next question. Question number 70. Which of the following is incorrect? So we have to check every option. So option number 1. Log 5 200 is greater than, this is 3, you can see directly. So 200 is greater than 5 to the power 3 which is also correct. Now option number 2. 1 upon log 5 80 plus 2 divided by log 4 80 is equal to 1. So you can write log base 80 value 5 plus 2 times log base 80 value 4 is equal to 1. So this is log base value log base 80 5 into 4 square that is also equal to 1 which is correct. Now third option log 2 9 is greater than log 3 16. So see, log 2, 9 is greater than 3, which is correct. And log 3, base 16, which is less than 3. So you can say, log 2, 9 is always greater than log 16, 3. So which is also correct. Now check on option number 4. Log 3, 20 plus log 4, 20 is less than log 2, 20. So just calculate it. Log 3, 20 less than log 220 minus 1 by 2 log 220 so log 320 is less than 1 by 2 log 220 so you can write down log 3 400 is less than log 220 so see in this log base is also greater than 2 and value is also greater than 20. So this value is greater than log 20. So which is incorrect. So option number 4 is your correct answer according to your question.